Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another showcase for you today in the Holiday Cup and what better way to celebrate the Holiday Cup than with a triple shiny team. We have shiny Alteria, shiny Obstagoon and shiny Charizard and it's a powerful team as well. These are powerful Pokemon in this meta. So let's go ahead and dive right into it and see what we got going on for us. But oh, going up against a Dunsparce, which I actually think Dunsparce is actually really good. I mean, the Rock side is super effective towards a lot. So is uh, the Drill Run, right? Obviously. So uh yeah i think it's a pretty good pokemon but we see uh, a pelipper come in to fight this obstagoon obviously if you're the dunce boss you don't want to fight the counter users like vigoroth or obstagoon even the the double kick user right like uh double wall but either way pelipper is going to be able to throw another weather ball i'm pretty sure this is a weather ball right it's got to be a weather ball it is a weather ball and that's not going to be enough to ko that means the obstagoon gets to a night slash now this is a boosted obstagoon this is easily going to ko and they let it go um, do they bring in the dust bus? Do they bring in whatever they have in the back? They're gonna bring in the Alolan Mawak. Okay, so Alolan Mawak coming in. Out comes the Charizard. A rock side would probably just KO Charizard, right? So as I said, dust bus doing a lot of damage to a lot of popular Pokemon. Super effective towards, you know, the fire and flying type with rock slide. Obviously super effective against, uh, I'll tell you as well, super effective against uh, Lantern, so it's doing well against like, all the Ice types as well, so really good Pokemon. But anyway, this is, video is not about Dunsparce, we're going to see a Dragon Claw come in from the Charizard. Uh, going to connect, not doing too much. Is that... are they really going for the Fawn Down? Oh no, I don't, I don't... I don't know, we'll see. Maybe they are going for the Fawn Down, no, they're not going to be able to get it, but it, ooh. Okay, so the Altaria comes in and they save that energy with a Lolan Mawak. So in comes the Dust Boss. Gonna go ahead and let that Sky Attack go. But the opponent is down a shield, so you could probably just safely. Yeah, this is gonna be a win here because they, they have to shield this, right? I think. Yeah, they do shield it. They're gonna be able to get off a Rock Slide. But you have two shields. You could shield this one up. And it is a Rock Slide, of course. Uh, and they do get off another one. So you could shield this. They do have an attack, though, with a Lolan Mawak. Uh, but if they throw a Shadow Bone, um, which will KO the Altaria, they do throw the Shadow Bone, so this is going to KO the Altaria, but you're like one wing attack away from KOing that, uh, that Alol Alolan Mawak, right? Oh my gosh, look how close that was. Charles is literally hanging on with one HP. That's actually really, really close. Could have been a tie. I thought it was going to be a tie for a second, but let's move on to the next one. Altaria into Obstagoon. Okay, not bad because you do resist the counter damage, right? So, pretty good matchup here. Uh, they're going to be able to throw an attack right now, and uh, yeah, you're resisting the counters. Night Slash is neutral. It's going to be a Night Slash. Totally fine. They're going to be able to throw another one, and Night Slash, I guess, is going to get it pretty low, but uh, I'll tell you, is going to be able to take it uh, and going to farm up a lot of energy, almost enough to the, for the back-to-back -back Sky Attack. So this Sky Attack is coming out. They do let that one go. It makes sense. Uh, and another Sky Attack is coming out. What came in? I guess we'll see. I'm not sure what came in. Oh, it's going to be a Frost Ash, so very good. In comes Charizard. Uh, they are staying in with the Frost Ash. I mean, Frost Ash is taking neutral from the wing attacks. It's not like it's Fire Spin where Frost Ash is weak to it. Uh, and Avalanche will do a lot of damage. They're bringing the Vigoroth, okay? Vigoroth coming in right now. Vigoroth is another common Pokemon in this Holiday Cup. Uh, so it's generally common Vigoroth whenever it's eligible for a meta, right? Uh, so Blast Bird coming out right now, and they do go ahead and commit that shield. Very nice, able to pick up that shield. Now going for the Dragon Claw, because the Charizard wouldn't be able to reach a Blast Burn uh, before the Body Slam, right? So just going to go ahead and go for the Dragon Claw, and that was a CMP tie. So this Vigoroth is going to be able to go for this Body Slam. Uh, it is enough to KO. Now, Obstagoon is double weak to counter, but they're so low. Um... Oh, trying to catch, unfortunately not able to, but the Vigoroth still has to sh throw anyway. So yeah, so as I was saying, uh, that Vigoroth is pretty low, so Obstagoon really doesn't have to worry about this counter damage. Uh, still not going to go ahead and shield, okay? So we're going to go ahead and let this one go. Uh, and in comes the Frost Ash, and this Night Slash is going to be able to KO. It made sense, I mean, just in case, so it made sense not to shield that Body Slam just in case the Frost Ash had an attack. I actually don't know if they did have an attack, but uh, if they had an attack, obviously the Avalanche would do more than the Body Slam, right? So good game. Let's move on to the next one. We do have a mirror match going on. We have Alteria versus Alteria. Okay, so Alteria is actually common in this meta. It really is, and a little bit surprising, I guess, because of all the ice types, but as we can see, this team isn't even using an ice type, so um, generally speaking, 
if you are running the nice type, usually it's only one on the team. You, I have seen double ice in the back, so it is possible, but uh, Valtteri can avoid the ice types looking pretty good, but they must have anti-ice types in the back uh, because if you run into a lead, like a frostless lead or something, it's not looking good, right? So the Alteria goes down. Ooh, oh my gosh, Shadow Ursaring. Oh my gosh, wow, that is talk about spicy. Well, I mean, I guess like, what does what that have, Counter? So I guess Counter is super effective towards ice. Um, I know, I know Ursaring, I think it has Shadow Claw and Counter. Uh, it's gonna be a close combat there, and we're gonna see this Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw should be enough to KO. I mean, they did debuff themselves, um, and it is enough to KO. And in comes uh, Victor Bell. Uh, Victor Bell is not an anti uh, ice type, so I guess not always anti ice, but um, it still does a lot of damage even to the ice types. But either way, that Charizard's Blast Burn is easily going to melt that Victor Bell. Good game. Let's move on to the next one. We do have an Obstagoon in the lead from the opponent. Um, and they're gonna go ahead and pull out into Alteria. Okay, um, so I guess Alteria just staying in right now. So Alteria is gonna be able to go for this Sky Attack right now. Will the opposing Alteria shield? They will shield it up. They do get off a Sky Attack. This is definitely just a Sky Attack, but it will still get the Alteria low. Alteria is gonna go ahead and shield this. Um, Oh, trying it so desperately to get to one, able to get to it. So will they actually shield? I feel like the opponent will let this one go. Um, they do let that one go, okay. Uh, and in comes Obstagoon, and so out comes Charizard, gonna switch out immediately. They do throw an attack, but we know Charizard is resisting the counter damage. This is gonna be a Night Slash. Uh, not resisting Night Slash, of course. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Blast Burn right now. And this Blast Burn is going to connect, doing so much damage, actually enough to KO it. And, oh, Dust Snow coming in, I would have loved to see that Dust Snow in action, but good game, well played to both trainers, let's go ahead and move into the next battle. We do have Alteria, we do have Sand Slash, so this is really bad. But you do have two answers to it. Uh, Charizard, actually, I guess Charizard with Wing Attack is not like a great answer to it. However, look how much damage that Ops did. Did. Obstagoon switched in. They didn't switch out right away. So that did so much damage because Sand Slash is double weak to it. Double weak to counter, right? So they're going to be able to throw an attack right now. Going to be a Night Slash. Uh, and out comes the Night Slash from this Obstagoon. Uh, and that will pick up the shield. And the opponent will be able to win this matchup. But you do have to keep in mind, they are actually really low. Uh, not really low, but they are pretty low with that Sand Slash. Uh, they're about 50%, I think. Um, so they do have to watch out. Uh, we'll see what comes in. Oh, the Sand Slash actually coming in to fight the Charizard. I, I thought, I th well, we all know what's in the back. Um, uh, and Sand Slash is going to go ahead and shield. Oh, another Dragon Claw coming out. This Charizard, Charizard with energy is very, very scary. And yeah, they are going to, that's going to go ahead and connect. Very nice. So they're going to be able to throw an Ice Punch. This will be enough. Uh, yeah, this is definitely enough. I mean, from a Shadow. Uh, so out comes Alteria, and in comes Ferrothorn, okay, so that's why they didn't bring in Ferrothorn. They have another Pokemon, double weak to fire. Of course, Charizard with Wing Attack is not doing double super effective damage, only the Blast Burn is, but that's totally fine. Um, this is looking pretty good, right? You do have two shields to the opponent's zero, so we're going to see the Sky Attack come out right now. And they're going to be able to throw an attack, and Alteria... Gonna go ahead and shield this one up. Makes sense because it is the thunder attack. And we're gonna see a farm down. We are gonna see a farm down before they get to another attack. And the opponent will concede that. And that is gonna be a great game. Very well played to both traders. And thank you so much for submitting your content. I really do appreciate that. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.